The views expressed in this blog are hosted on my own website, are strictly personal and do not reflect the views of any organization. Hello and welcome friends once again to Straight Bat, my weekly video blog, where as the title suggests, I comment with a straight bat. Now, this week, the news headlines have been dominated by the tragedy in Morbi in Gujarat. More than 130 people dead after a canal bridge in the heart of the town in Saurashtra collapsed. I'm going to look, therefore, at Morbi but also look from Morbi at what I believe is the wretched state of governance in this country. And what I believe is that it's not just a bridge that collapsed in Morbi. The Indian state itself is in danger at times of collapsing. Let's start therefore with a recent viral video that exposes the state of Indian governance. Images of workmen hastily refurbishing the crumbling civil hospital in Morbi ahead of the Prime Minister's visit. It offers to my mind a classic example of the grim reality that many of us have confronted over the years. As a small town recovers from an unimaginable tragedy of a bridge collapse caused by criminal negligence, man-made negligence leading to the loss of a scores of lives, the idea that grief can be hidden from the public gaze by putting an extra coat of paint in a hospital is just appalling. But then it is election season, you would say, in Gujarat, and the chamak or glitter of a much hyped Gujarat model must mask the grime of a rundown government hospital and an ineffectual administration. A big VIP is coming, and we live in an age of flashy optics where the perfect photo op matters above all else. So, this is one viral video that, to my mind, represents the state of governance. Here's the second one. Recent visuals from a religious gathering or a satsang of Gurmeet Ram Rahim, the self-styled spiritual head of the Dera Sacha Soda, being attended by VVIPs including MLAs and ministers, the Dera chief convicted of rape and murder is out on parole for 40 days. His exit, his parole conveniently tied in with a Haryana by-election and a Himachal Assembly election because these are two states where the DERA has a considerable following. In one video, a BJP minister from Himachal is seeking Ashirwad from the convicted godman, almost as if whitewashing the crime of a rapist murderer in full public glare. Recall also a third video, a recent video that had gone viral, you will recall, of 11 persons convicted of rape and murder in the 2002 Bilkis Bano case, being fetid, being garlanded by Vishwa Hindu Parishad activists in Gujarat after their life sentence was remitted. As a subsequent Gujarat government affidavit in the Supreme Court has revealed, the premature release of these convicts was opposed by the Central Bureau of Investigation and the Special Court in Mumbai, which had conducted the trial. Here too, there is a clear political angle which at least appears prima facie. Gujarat is in election mode and there could be the quest for the Hindu vote that appears to override all else. A fourth video is just as revealing. A BJP MP from West Delhi, Parvesh Verma, is seen exhorting a crowd to economically boycott a community and teach them a lesson. Without specifically naming Muslims, there are enough references in his rabble-rousing speech to instantly realize who the supposed enemy is. It is a hate speech delivered with impunity, brazenly designed to cement a vote bank. Delhi too, remember, is about to witness a high-stake municipal election battle. Now, I have looked at these four videos because collectively they are a pointer, I believe, to a deeper moral and political crisis that engulfs our democratic setup. Firstly, the visible lack of accountability amongst those in authority. 
How can government officials and netas in Morbi get away with the bald lie that they were not aware that this iconic colonial era bridge had been reopened for public use after renovation? To blame overcrowding in the festive season while ignoring the obvious lack of security, especially police at the bridge, is a gross dereliction of duty in my mind. Likewise, how can the Haryana government of Manohar Lal Khattar claim that it is unaware of the blatant abuse of parole granted to the Dera boss? Or indeed the Home Ministry remained silent on the Bilkis case, although the release was green flagged by the ministry? In the Verma case, for example, sources claim that the BJP leadership is unhappy with the MP's utterances. But yet there has been no formal public rep reprimand nor any action taken by the Delhi police, the same police which will go and search and raid journalists because of a complaint filed by a BJP leader but will not act on hate speech involving those who are well connected. Secondly, each of these instances therefore point to a larger institutional corrosion and a governance deficit at multiple levels my friends. Civic administrations across this country have earned a reputation for sloth and corruption. The Morbi police and municipal authorities failed to supervise basic safety norms on the bridge and this is the grim reality. The convicted Dera chief being allowed to hold large public gatherings shows up the bogusness of our criminal justice system that is meant to ensure equality before the law. Short-circuiting the process to remit the life sentences of convicted murderers and rapists in the Bilkis case shows how the law can be subverted at the highest level by partisan politics. The lack of action in the Delhi hate speech case just exposes how compromised our police force is. Activist Omar Khalid's bail will be stoutly opposed even after he has spent two years in jail. But a well-connected ruling party MP will not be touched. Thirdly, the conspicuous silence of those in power when confronted with the hard questions reveals to my mind a moral bankruptcy that is telling. How can this all-powerful double-engine Gujarat government that we keep hearing of refuse to accept any responsibility for contracting a private company with no past experience in civil engineering projects to maintain a bridge that obviously needed an expert structural audit. How for example does the Bilkis case or indeed serial hate speech offenses by ruling party members square up with Prime Minister Modi's catchy slogan of Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas. Or is it that we have reached a stage in our politics where these lofty goals of good governance and social cohesion of Suraj are at complete odds with the realities of power politics? Where frankly this Raj Dharm concept has been sacrificed at the altar of electoral benefit. Where political and constitutional morality has been lost. In fact, it is the deepening coarseness, my friends, of the power at all cost mantra that leaves one wondering what will it take to restore a basic moral quotient to our politics, to a democracy in recession. You know, I look at sometimes my home state of Maharashtra, where one side uses uh, a slogan against the other, the opposition against the ruling party, pannas khoke ekdam okay which means that 50 crores were given to MLAs to switch sides. The other side, the government calls the opposition a Vasuli ki sarkar when they were in power, a, a party of extortionists or a government of extortionists. In this blame game, naturally the general public believes sub neta chor hai. And it spreads to my mind a deepening cynicism about our politics that should worry us all. And therefore, when a bridge collapses like it did in Morbi because of criminal negligence at multiple levels, we have to ask ourselves, is this really what we expected when we were told we would get Achhe Din? That there is this basic lack of governance at times, particularly at local levels. You know, when in despair, you take solace in soulful poetry. And therefore, I will give you my shairi for the day. Umeed par hai dunya kayam. 
یہ وقت برا بھی ٹل جائے گا روشنی میں پھر بدل جائے گا سمے کے ساتھ بدل جائے گا دا ورلڈ لیوز آن ہوپ دس بیڈ ٹائم ٹو ول پاس دا لائٹ ول ریٹرن اینڈ چینج ول کم وتھ ٹائم ایز اے پوسٹ اسکرپٹ آئی ایم سم ٹائمز آسٹ ہاؤ آئی سوئچ آف فرام دا سلاو آف ڈسپونڈنسی دیر آفن کورسز تھرو پرائم ٹائم نیوز مائی آنسر جسٹ لسن ٹو ریٹرو ہندی فلم میوزک اینڈ واچ این آرکائیول کرکٹ میچ ویئر ہوپ فلی انڈیا ہیز ون یو شوڈ ٹرائی ٹو اٹ مائٹ برنگ اے اسمائل آن یور فیس ان ڈپریسنگ ٹائمس تھنک اباؤٹ اٹ دیٹ واز دا اسٹریٹ پیٹ ڈو آف کورس سبسکرائب ٹو مائی یو ٹیوب چینل فار مینی مور سچ ویڈیوز فار ناؤ اسٹے ویل اسٹے سیو جہ ہند نمشکار